Hello transport nerds and fellow planners and welcome back to Talking Planning. If you've missed my most recent review, I'll give you the TLDW, I've moved house again. It is worth a watch though, so I'll have it linked at the end so that you can catch up. After a year in parks, I was ready to find somewhere a little more suited to my stage of life, but still close enough so I could head over to the main office on a semi-regular basis. On the weekends, I often found myself heading to Orange, and I quite enjoyed it, so now I'm calling Orange home. I thought it would be quite timely to share a local transport review to celebrate, so let's gloss over the fact that this was filmed back in March on my birthday, well before the 16 city service improvements were launched, and let's jump on board. As with many regional buses, there were a few minutes of waiting before we actually departed, but on time, we set off from Summer Street on a 533 bound for North Orange Shopping Centre. Like many other cities in the central western Iran, including Dubbo, Bathurst and Lithgow, Bus Lines is the local operator and bus tech bodied vehicles have been a big part of their various fleets across the state. Today's chariot is a Volvo B8 RLE with a bus tech VST body, numbered 16 and was built back in February 2021. Unlike some of the older bus tech vehicles I've caught in the past, this has plenty of natural light throughout the interior, but it is causing some reflections on the glass. Still, I'll take a light and airy interior any day of the week, and I suspect that the reflection is from the sitter of glass or perspex on the edges of the roof-mounted emergency exits. If you've been around a while, you may remember I checked out a Dubbo Bus Lines Volvo B8 RLE with the same style of bus tech VST body last year, and I also found it quite impressive. This bus is super similar and it's only three months newer, so let's talk a bit about Orange itself rather than repeating too much from the last review. There are some truly gorgeous buildings in town with grandiose architecture from the late 1800s still dotted around the city, such as the old post office and courthouse, and the main street looks pretty lovely at dusk. Make your way further out of town though, and like most cities, the core disperses into a mix of post-war housing and more recent housing estates, which we'll spend some time traveling through on the way to North Orange shops. From memory, it was about a 15 minute trip end to end. So while the well padded bench seats aren't strictly necessary, they are nice to have. And while the red and blue fabric is quite a plain design, it looks smart and professional. Good virtues for transport interior design. Although this bus is missing a Euro 6 badge compared to the Dubbo bus, I'm pretty sure it's also Euro 6 rated, given how new it is and how quiet it is. That means up to 350 horsepower and 1400 newton meters of torque, which is plenty of orange town duties and is probably perfectly good for the 530 and 530X out to Bathurst. Let's have a listen now.
as we get closer to North Orange shops, there are some lovely mountain views in the distance, but it also becomes clear that plenty of people are choosing to call Orange home. I mean, I have, and I also saw the appeal, especially given that I'm already working in the region. That being said, all good trips come to an end, so it's time to press that stop bell and watch this bus depart. I also ended up catching the same bus back into town a little later, and its reflection in the windows looks pretty good as we make our way back down Summer Street. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you again soon.